Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just on this call out, check out this leak. Yeah, the leak is from a CHP primary heating pump. Okay, they currently have no hot water in this building, but it's simply because they've isolated too many valves. I'm gonna see about um, re-establishing the hot water supply. So our pressurization unit was okay, our heating pressurization unit, now our boilers. Here's our plate heat exchanger temperature, 26 Celsius, and that's our target temperature, 60 Celsius. Looks like our primary pump is off, let's get it on. Just ensuring my shunt pumps are running by my boilers. Got another plate heat exchanger here that where the primary pump is off. Hot water return pump is operating. Okay, I forced my boiler on, boiler number one on. Let's see if, uh, if it dissipates the heat and the heat goes through the plate heat exchanger and then into the cylinder. Ooh, sounding like it's kettling, so sounds like the heat isn't getting away. This is what we have on the BMS. Okay, I found one of my shunt pumps off. Okay, we've got our shunt pumps on. Let's ensure that there's no restrictions on the flow. Okay, I found um, this valve up here, this butterfly valve, this main um, return pipe was closed. So that obviously was going to cause problems. So I'm trying to establish the system and move out the CHP. You'll see that my boiler temperature has dropped now. So the heat is circulating. So that's a good sign. And our boiler is um, on and this boiler is on as well. And then hopefully we'll start to see our temperature go up on our plate to plate heat exchanger and on this plate to plate heat exchanger as well. Okay, before I let you go, um, seeing as I'm on a late night call out, I just wanted to give you a few tips on late night call outs if you are ever on any. Um, try to make sure you have caffeinated drinks, uh, make sure, ensure that you eat well. Um, if you're feeling tired at all, ensure that you, um, you pull over. Um, make sure the AC is on when you're driving um, and put some music on or something that keeps you awake um, but stop at service stations if need be um, but don't drive tired guys yeah don't drive tired let some fresh air in the car if you haven't got AC keep it cool don't get too warm I'm gonna continue looking to ensure that my um, heating as well for my fan core units and other associated areas are operating because when this um, building started to leak um, a lot of valves were isolated okay my plate to plate heat exchanger over here this one on the right hand side is starting to heat up quicker than my one on my left maybe it's my actuator maybe my actuator is in the right place doing the right thing got my one over here 26.2 our boilers are still operating there's there's heat for it to go somewhere there's heat here as well and there's somewhere for it to go there's my pressurization unit still happy Oh, looking at the panel. And back over here. And here's our boilers.
Okay, there's our cold water storage tanks. The high and low levels healthy. High and low levels are healthy. Here's our temperature. Not other temperature. And our heating circuit. Okay, our boilers have reached 80 Celsius. This one has shut off around 70. This is our temperature on our plate heat exchanger number one. And here's our much better temperature on our plate heat exchanger number two. So I have a funny feeling that I need to look at the, um, the freeway valve. Okay, I had a little tweak, but um, had a squeeze behind there and had a little tweak, but probably not enough. I'm gonna have to go and actually get some tools out. Um, so far I haven't taken any tools out of my van. This plate heat exchanger over here is working well for me. Yeah, this one on the left is taking its sweet time to go up, but sometimes the temperature sensor can be a bit faulty. Okay, so let's get some details for this. The same size as the one at the bottom, so it's an inch and a half, so it's 40 mil, and um, it's PN16. So we've just got to replace these, these bellows. Our temperature's working its way up slowly. I could force the boiler into service mode to just increase the speed but I think we've got time and this boiler is over here still operating okay and here's our hot water service return temperature our hot water service flow temperature I recall the flow temperature being about 26 earlier um, the return has gone up the flow has gone up it's looking good okay our temperatures are going up uh, gradually. Thank you for joining me. Please leave comments in the section below. Okay, until next time. Bye, bye, bye.